where 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 were we? I... When you walk away, you, you don't, don't hear me, me say, please, oh baby, baby. don't go. Sip. Hey everybody, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, 358 and a half. Sorry, 358 300... over two yes. days. Thank you. It has a li- it's it's got a little bit of sh- of stuff to it, but it's it's more or less it's more or less what Roxas Soar's nobody is doing during Chain of Memories, right? And you play as Roxas, right? Mm-hmm. And some yes. of the other organization members, mostly Roxas, mostly Roxas. Okay. And I, I, that's pretty much all I know. You, you're doing stuff, I guess. Right. And you're learning, like, hey, maybe I shouldn't be in Organization 13. Maybe yeah. this sucks. And there's, like, another character in there who's, like, the 13th member of Organization 13, Zion. And she looks like Kyrie, but she's actually, like, a fake double made out of some of Sora's memories that Xemnas stole. Or Z- Xanort's soul? They, they're basic. Look, and she can also wield a keyblade, which is like right. that's weird because so, only certain people can do. Right. So she's like the backup in case, like Riku or Sora get all messed up and they can't use them for whatever they need them for. Right. And so, but she. Uh, spoiler: She's the final boss of 358 over two days, and Be- she dies. There, there's a. Oh! oh! There's a there's a long history in this game of women sacrificing themselves for uh-huh. the main protagonist boy or like cheering them on from the sidelines in such a way that they're captured or they're something like that. Anyways, so something something she merges with Roxas which allows him to use two keyblades at once and everyone's like, "Whoa, that's hot shit." And it's I guess the reason why Sora's eventually in able to use two keyblades at once and everyone's like wow well, sorry, that's hot shit no they don't merge together it's like Roxas loves Zion so much that his will like awakens Ventus who is oh, part of his heart God, and so damn it. technically Sora now has is two keyblade oh, wielders inside of him so that's why he can my. dual wield can't wait wait why can't he dual why can't he wield three Oh, oh, but wait, he's only able to, able to wield one in the first place because of Ventus. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that, that's going to happen quite a few more times in this video. No. Yes. Yes. Yes? <laughs> no. So, I, is, is there anything else to 358 over 2 days? It's, no. it's called 358 over 2, I think, because it's like uh, Roxas and... Zion, Zion, Zion are mm-hmm. experiencing this game or the these days. Yeah, yeah. So you play half the game as each, and it's over yeah. three hundred and fifty-eight days or some super yeah, it was, bullshit. It was a game. It I, was it, a game. Yeah. Okay. So, I that's one of the few not you know main games that I have played. Right. Yeah. 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 It's on the fucking DS, and it was okay. <laughs> it's probably it's probably like uh like most of these games like. It's just Mediocre. more Kingdom Hearts with a tiny bit of plot sprinkled in. It's just enough to get a little bit more fan fiction. Yeah. All right. So, so like, yeah, hit, hit me with it. Fuck. So while Nomin- actually, wait. I'm sorry. Can I do Kingdom Hearts two? Just because I know that sure. I'm not going to be able to to do any of the other much. ones. <laughs> like we we technically just have I guess two. Well, yeah, no, we have, three left. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if I know those ones well at all. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So. Kingdom Hearts 2, like I said, you you start the game as Roxas. Yes. But you're not Organization 13 Roxas necessarily, or you don't know yet. You're you're just Roxas, some boy in a town called Twilight Town, uh-huh. and you're running around. You're, once again, Final Fantasy characters. Oh, your rival character is Cypher. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. And you have your own friends. So this is this is I think the third set of. No, three. No, no there's four, four of them. This is the fourth set of I, nearly identical friends who's basically Sora, Riku, and Kairi. Yeah. And by this point, it's it's ridiculous. But I, but 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 uh, in Twilight Town, they also have a fat friend. They did. Yeah, that's true. They mm-hmm. also have a fat friend, mm-hmm. which which is what a series first so far. I yeah, guess it was only probably the third game. At the Unless time. you count fucking Ursula the Sea Witch. Yeah. Oh God, Ursula's fantastic. I know she is. Okay. So, so you're running around Twilight Town, and then things start getting weird, and nobody's appear, mm-hmm. which uh, 
you'll remember. Are, are these the, are the weird gray heartless dudes? Nobody, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, the like these things show up, and then mm -hmm. this thing shows up. They're all wiggly, and it's like, why are they wiggly? What's going on? <laughs> And it turns out you're in a simulation yes. of Twilight Town. There is a Twilight Town, but you're in a... Come on, give me a good picture. Oh, my God. Why are they, why is it all these Yeah, why are so they small? all small? You're, you're in a simulation of Twilight Town, and the reason is that Ansem and Namine from Chain of Memories are reconstructing Sora's memories. And remember, Roxas is Sora's nobody... Who, by the way, Roxas just happens to look exactly like Ventus, which makes sense for reasons, Who looks I'm just sure. Like Sora. Yes, and he also looks just like Sora. Mm -hmm. And so after you do Roxas' whole initial thing, and you're like, wow, like, what's even the point? There's like this guy named, and, and, and Axel's running around, who's, a, the, who's this red guy, Organization 13. Yeah, who and became like BFFs with Roxas. Because, oh my God, there are three, five. five eight over two. Aren't there? There are five sets of identical friends. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're, they're BFFs, and Axel's like, this sucks, and Roxas is like, I have to hurt you for some reason. And also, I don't know who you are anymore. Yeah, and then Roxas is like, that's really annoying, and hurts my feelings, so they no, fight. No, 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 Axel was like that. Oh, you're right, Axel's like that. Roxas pulls it, out two keyblades, and then young Tony goes, <gasps> it's, it's actually really, really sad. It I really, really like sad. Axel, and it's kind of like... At least clear to me that Axel and Roxas are in love. It's pretty obvious. It's very obvious. It's pretty and obvious. so Axel is like, well, if we can't be together, then I guess kill me. And so they right. fight and then Axel and, gets killed. And I, I feel like I feel like I gotta show a picture of this to, to really to really show just how fucking cool this was. You fight this guy, Axel, and then like the whole fucking Oh wait, that's that's Sora, that's weird. Oh, 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 god damn it. Okay, here we go. And, the, like, the walls appear on fire because Axel's thing is fire. You pull out two keyblades in this, like, big scene. And everything before this was, like, like, uh, this is really boring. Oh, okay, nobody's. That's kind of cool. Oh, Cypher. Oh, this is really boring again. Okay, and then this happens. Everything's going just nuts. It's a it's very wild. cool fight. And... It's probably the coolest fight in the game. Well, if you, cause go up, go up to the to the image just above. Uh, no, nope, nope, down, left, <laughs> left, there, that one. The Axel has these fucking like Shocker. fire pinwheels. Yeah, that he like spins around. It looks all cool. And I, I bring this up because the thing Kingdom Hearts continuously does is it it gets you with small snippets of like, wow, this gameplay is really cool. Yeah. When all, honestly, I don't think the gameplay is the very good. Gameplay is not good at all. It's, I, it's like this is fine. It's like mash the A button so that you can get lots of combos. But like, I'd much rather play a shitty game than a mediocre game. It's true. So, anyway, so that that happens. Roxas is like, this sucks. I discovered that I'm just like a thing being for Sora's memories. Roxas disappears into Sora. Sora's like, that was weird. I don't know what just happened. Uh -huh. Who's Roxas? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, Don and Goofy are there, and like Sora emerges from the egg. He's suddenly taller, and then like a lot more fan fiction gets written because he's older. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sora meets. What happened? He meets Mickey, who's like, hey, take this train to go meet Sid, Yen Sid, who is. Who's the wizard from. Fucking the. 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 Uh. Mickey short with the. Where he's a magician. Yeah, uh, the the Fantasia. Fantasia Th from this, Fantasia. This guy. Whoa, that dude. Oh yeah. So you meet him. He's like, hey, I'm important for some reason because I guess he knows about Keyblades and stuff. And he's like, hey. Well, and he's to also gonna like teach Sora how to do magic again because he forgot. Yeah, and so you get the, all these things. And Maleficent and uh, what's his face, the other dog, Mickey's nemesis. Um, Goofy's nemesis. Is it really? Yes. Oh. Anyways, they're running around. They're doing wacky shit. I mean, against... nemesis slash best friend, depending on it the property. Yeah. So they, Sora goes around, visits shit, and go ends up back at the at this place, right? At the, the castle place. Where... Yeah. And, and in between then and now, the gameplay is basically the same as Kingdom you're, Hearts. You're going One, to worlds. It's some some of the same worlds, some different worlds. Like you're seeing blah, more blah, Disney blah. characters. Yeah. You see the. They have Nightmare Before Christmas in this one, which is super so fun. So fun. Which is what we were talking about on our Discord. Yeah. And then there's really only I think two more important parts in Kingdom Hearts two. Uh huh. My understanding is, so there's, like even 
basically organization 13 starts peppering themselves in so it's just like wow these guys suck and you discover okay these are the main baddies mm -hmm. riku at this point is a little bit around and he's he's like oh i can't show myself yeah i think I'm, he's still trying I'm to like dark. escape the darkness or something and mickey's helping with that yeah mickey's giving him pills and stuff yeah and riku is like mickey's weird apprentice for a while while mickey tries to like reawaken the light in riku's heart or we can, some we bullshit can just say it. they were they were okay they may have been lovers they they were okay oh. <laughs> um Themnis is he's not he's he's one of the two Xehanorts for because there was Ansem and Zemnis. Right. So Zemnis is controlling organization 13s. Mm -hmm. And I don't, God, I don't even remember this part. Creates an artificial Kingdom yeah, Hearts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like they make they make Kingdom Hearts because they hope that if they can like open it or whatever, they'll get their bo their hearts back. And for the record, like organization 13s, they they control the nobodies. Right. They're, they're such power such powerful wills that they control the nobodies. Right, but that's not actually why the Kingdom Hearts got built. Like, Xemnas lied to them because he wanted to use Kingdom Hearts to, like, create his own world. Sure, like like Robotropolis, basically. Uh-huh, okay. uh-huh. Um, but so, yeah, so you fucking destroy Xemnas. Uh, and that, this is the end of the game, by the, the way. This is the end of like, the game. Like you, like, oh, and by, at, at, Everybody goes si home. Si quick side note. At one point, Riku's like, hey, Kyrie, why don't you use this other Keyblade? And Kyrie's like, I can use Keyblades, too. And it's like, all right, so now we have, we're starting to get a lot of Keyblade users. Well, this right, because, because Kyrie's heart lived inside Sora for a little while. So I guess if you touch Sora, you get to use a Keyblade. If you just kind of give him a lick. <laughs> yeah, give, give him a little give, kiss. Oh, like Joey Tribbiani in uh, Lost in Space. What? Uh, and so then <laughs> Sora and Riku they team up <laughs> but yeah so and they they beat Xemnas uh -huh. he has lightsabers it's a really cool fight until you realize wait like you said earlier Mel I'm just kind of mashing the A to do these act like quick time events yeah and well, then occasionally it's jumping it's it it's it is it is fun it just doesn't hold up anyways well and uh, so Part of what makes Kingdom Hearts fun is this, like, stupidity and ridiculousness. Like, the fucking final boss rush in Kingdom Hearts 1 is, like, fucking 60 bosses or some shit. It's very and exciting. And the final boss is, like, a giant spaceship that is also a man, <laughs> but the man is on top, and it's got, like, a fucking face, and it's just... And you're just, flying. And it's just wild. It is just some grade A crazy bullshit, and, and I love and it. And at one point, you're, you have to remember to have, to use a mega elixir to revive Goofy, and it's like, what's going oh, on? Oh yeah, Goofy dies at one point, and everybody gets really sad but then he's fine yeah he's fine um is, but is yeah there anything else that happens well okay so two? so this is where we lead into fucking dream drop distance because okay. in right. kingdom hearts one you destroy ansem in kingdom hearts two you destroy xemnas so if you destroy a nobody and a heartless from the same person just like if you would smush them together that recreates the original person in like a slime chamber I, or no it just through magic are they do they start as a fetus and grow no, back up no xehanort just gets Is resurrected it a benjamin button situation no xehanort just gets resurrected i want them to somehow build a benjamin button situation sorry you must go defeat the heart whatever to help me stop aging down into a zeddy teenager oh no um but yeah so they 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 figured <laughs> they figured that out sora and Reed you do yeah shut up tony uh and then they decide <laughs> to do some kind of keyblade test it's the mark of the master exam and so, so, like they're they're doing it but i guess Kyrie's gonna maybe do it eventually also or uh -huh. something uh yeah so that's that's what happens in dream drop distance or that's when dream drop distance starts is there even anything else to dream drop to? is it is it just a big test <sighs> um no i don't think so i think i think there's it barely anything happens really like uh they do this like exam but of course like xanort messes with it um 
It, I guess, so, it, and it's, it, it's just a test. Like, the game is it's really just a test. Like, uh, I guess I should show a picture of Dream Drop Distance, but. Yeah, you should. Uh, dream Drop Distance. Uh, like, we're, get, we're getting kind of close to the end of this of mm -hmm. this thing here. This is for the 3DS. You, you, you get these little monster buddies. They're like toy, like monsters. You can Pokemon battle them. And yeah, they're cute. They, they, they're cuter than you'd think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's but much um, it. so like you find out that the actual reason Xehanort made Organization 13 was to find like 13 Hor hosts Horcruxes to, for himself. Yeah, basically so that he could have, yeah, a, a bunch of Horcruxes. Yeah. Um, But that's what he that's the number that he needs for some reason to like balance <laughs> with the light and the X blade, <laughs> so that he can create a true X blade. I like how we're here on the Wikipedia page and we still can't make sense. And of like this Ansem was apparently originally created actually so that like Xehanort could travel back in time, which doesn't make any sense, and I don't understand. Okay, let's not. I, I almost feel like that's going too far. Like that's. That's almost beyond the scope of this video. I see time travel right here. <laughs> you must abandon your body and live only as a heart. You can then tra only tra- Wait, you can then only travel in your own time? See, this is- yeah. Wait, and look at this. You cannot go further back than when you were born, and a heart can either go in the past or back to the present. This is too- That's too much. So, if Xehanort's- he's, he's traveling around. He was doing bullshit back yeah. when he was a heart, I guess, floating around doing stuff. Uh, there's, there's no, there's one more game that we have to, we have to go over. So there's Recoded, which is, I believe, just a remake of Kingdom Hearts two no. with a little bit added. Hold on, no, no, or is, is it, it a remake no, of? No, no, Recoded is no, it's its own thing because. It doesn't it take place in a digital world. And well, there's right. like a digital Sora. Well, right, but it's like it's the same as one of the games oh basically. oh sure sure okay i see what you're saying it's it's basically the same as one but like you're there's a digital sora mm -hmm. something happens and maybe the digital sora has gained self-awareness and everyone's like that's weird uh-huh but it's, it's honestly not even important yeah it's not i don't think it ties back into the main plot except for by like a couple of little strands what's what's the i am so bad at computers you sure are what's what's there's a connection to the game that came out in the like 2.8 final mix. Mal, can you discuss the compilations and the remakes while oh, I search? Oh, Jesus. Well, so, like, fucking... Uh, Kingdom Hearts has been, like, remade and collated and final mixed, like, so many fucking times that they finally came out with Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8, the final chapter. And, like, that's, like, the definitive edition or whatever, and it adds, like, a, the tiniest amount of things, but I have no idea. It's it's also, I'd like to point out, they, they made two compilations, two separate compilations, and then they later sold, uh, they later sold a, a compilation of those two compilations. Yeah. <laughs> It's so fucking okay, I'm stupid. I'm starting to get into dangerous possible spoilers. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. Get away from get away from here. Because there's like a there's like a two point eight. Anyways, something happens with uh, not Terra, Aqua. Aqua. Something happens with Terra where or Aqua. Shit, she's been she's been in the place between for a while, mm -hmm. just sitting there being like, uh, and it's implied, I think, at the end, like in a special end credits of Birth by Sleep, that oh maybe for some reason Sora can get her out and she's. You know she's important mm -hmm. still so she's i think going to play a camp role in kingdom hearts 3 because she somehow gets out right well because like aqua is like fucking Kyrie's like pre form these three are, are like a progenitor of a bunch of bullshit and so because like fucking Ventus and Aqua were like so in love or whatever and Kyrie and Sora are so in love or like whatever they're all like weirdly connected it's it it, it turned it's kind of a love pyramid at this point it, actually it's a big stack of love and because we we entered the third dimension and there are lines going everywhere every which who way. knows what's going on by the way this actually does a, a nice visual of a few of the threes we have Axel Roxas and Zeon we have uh, like uh, these Sora, Riku, Sora, and Kyrie, yeah. and then there's 
Roxas, he has his other two buds, but uh -huh. also there's these two buds. Uh -huh. There's just a lot going on. Well, and there's also like Nomine as a buddy. Hi, it's and too fucking much. Ventus, Kyrie, and or not fuck. Who yeah, the point. fucking fucking knows? That's a lot of cussing. So uh, I think this. Mal, would you say that this by large sums it up? And, I, and then we'll just hit some miscellaneous points yeah, about our thoughts. Yeah, for the most part, like, it, it but, still doesn't make any sense and is, like, an incoherent mess. And, in fact, I actually, something I would like to point out is that if you've listened to this video, you probably know less about Kingdom Hearts you than you did. You may know less about Kingdom Hearts going now. In, and, that, I, that, and this is still the definitive explanation. It absolutely is. Uh, so let's 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 maybe go a little bit into some general thoughts on this series. Okay. Because I have some feelings. Okay. My major, Please explain them to us. My major feeling, and everyone will echo this, is why did they release these games on a different damn console every every sequel? single fucking time? Because because uh, it was like if we if we go back here, oh per, okay yes if we go back here it was like. There was uh, the Kingdom Hearts on the PS2. That was great. But then they made Chain of Memories on the Game Boy Advance. It was like, that was kind of weird. But then they made Kingdom Hearts 2 back on the PS2. It was like, okay, that's great. And then they, I forget if it was like they made Recoded after that on the DS. Or, no, they made 358 over two days on the DS. And then they went to, I think, the PSP with uh -huh. Birth by Sleep. And then I think they went to Recoded also on the DS or, or the 3DS, I forget. Mm -hmm. And then I think the browser game was going on in Japan only. Uh -huh. And then I think they went to Dream Drop Distance uh -huh. on the 3DS. Why? Why would you make it on a different console every time? Oh, God. And, like, there's technically two different Birth by Sleeps because there's Birth by Sleep and then fucking point two birth by sleep is, a fragmentary yes, yes. passage this is that epilogue i was telling you about and in fact this chart is handy and it'll tell you birth by sleep was happening for this amount of time and then mm -hmm. birth by sleep happened but also there's some extra stuff that the fragmentary pa passage tells you about uh -huh. which happens towards the end of the first and i think that's hearts. like aqua's story specifically yes I, I, yes after she gets stuck in like the realm of darkness yeah, okay absolutely. yeah i think so 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 anyways that's that's gripe number one uh, Gripe number two. The gameplay is bland, y'all. It's yeah, bland. Yeah, it bland. It's bland. It bland. This is more so than a lot of other action. Like, I think there are some pretty good action RPGs. But more so than most of them, this really communicates to my soul why I prefer character action games where things happen immediately. And, like, you know, I can appreciate that, like, you know, maybe character action games are harder. They take faster reaction times. Blah, 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 blah. But, like, for me personally, at least, if I'm swinging a big hunking keyblade, which is clearly... The keyblade's clearly, like, a 20-pound hunk of oh, metal. it's huge. It's... I want, like, I want the enemy to react. I want to be able to do a sick combo and then do, like, a wild lightning thing. I want it to be more Dissidia than Final Fantasy Dissidia than Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. I would rather... Uh, uh, the right. gameplay is bland. And, it's, and so, like, the, the hope for Kingdom Hearts 3 is that maybe the gameplay is, uh, like, f maybe fun or something? <laughs> which, it looks a lot more action-oriented, which, in my yes. opinion, is a good thing. Yes. My understanding is that Birth by Sleep did a lot for the gameplay systems. I think it did, yes. Which, by the way, did you ever, like, get hands-on at all no, with Birth by No, no, I've never once yeah, played here. even a little bit of Birth by Sleep or Dream Drop Distance or Cross Chi or Union X Cross oh or X Back Cover or, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I almost, there, there was a dark night. This was, like, a few weeks ago where I was like, you know, Birth by Sleep's like the major hole in my understanding of Kingdom Hearts. Maybe I'll play Birth by Sleep. And I looked into it and I was like, oh, maybe I'll get like the compilation. And then it was like still $60. Yep. And I was like, oh, fuck me. Yep. And I said, no, no. And a uh, fun fact about our channel, the first kind of LP that we oh, yeah. kind of recorded. Our hyper practice LP that we did like a solid year before we actually started the channel. This is when we were living in a basement where slugs nightly would trail across the entire damn hallway Especially of the house. Especially the toilet seat. Uh, so Kingdom Hearts, what was it? Was it one or two was it, our we initial? We tried to do Kingdom Hearts 2. We tried to do Kingdom Hearts 2. It did not work, but that's fine because it's... Because clearly we're professionals It now. did not work. And so instead we both got very sick and or very depressed and just sat in the basement and played through both of the games like nonstop for several 
weeks. Yeah, that was actually a really bad point in our lives, wasn't it? Yeah, but I think playing Kingdom Hearts is what got us through it. (laughs) (laughs) We had to accept the darkness in our hearts. (laughs) To find the light. To find the light. Because where there is light, there is always dark. (laughs) Where there is darkness, there is always light. But Kingdom Hearts is light. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know if I have much else to say about this clusterfuck, other than if you've been... I don't know. Hold on. I'm sorry. I completely skipped you. What are your? Do you have any other thoughts? Yeah, Mouse? Tony. Yeah, geez. I I do have an announcement at the end here. But what what's what's your thing? Mouse? I don't know. I fucking love these games. They're all garbage, and I can't <laughs> wait to play the next one. Like I feel I I've I've really been coming to terms lately that like the things that I love the most are things that are kind of pretty bad yeah. because. Things that try to be good nowadays, especially, are just not Things that try to be good. good. Now you're talking. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't. And you're talking in the same way that they talk about the darkness and light in these. Oh games. God. That, okay. Can no, the let, good l- defeat the bad? <laughs> let me let me try and explain it in but, a less vague term. But what if Kingdom Hearts Three is a bad game? I am so deeply bored with pretty much most media because it is not appealing to me in Mm. any way mostly because it is not trying to appeal to me anyway because i'm not a straight white probably man yeah uh but the things that are kind of garbage are allowed to be different like this is weird stuff and like experimental and therefore are a lot more interesting and a lot more fun, even if they are not necessarily as polished or right. if they don't make any fucking sense. Which is also why you like anime. Uh, <sighs> that's true. It is true. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Do you have other thoughts, Mel? Tell I me more. don't. I'm really I'm so excited to play Kingdom Hearts 3. Because we're going to play Kingdom Hearts 3 on the channel. Yay! Oh. Oh god, how long is it gonna take? I've heard it's approximately a 20 hour game. So I hope you like longer series, y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna play Kingdom Hearts 3! No, I'm so ready though. Like I'm pretending to be uh perturbed by that, but no, I'm fu- I'm so fucking ready. <laughs> oh man. And we're in a basement again we are to play basement. Kingdom Hearts. We're in a basement. Time again. is a flat circle, Tony. Wow, uh, do you remember the time that <coughs> that Goofy turned into a turtle and and Donald turned into a squid? We and you tried had to do, not to remember the Little Mermaid levels. You had to do musical qu- like rhythm games we to tr- beat Tony. We try not to remember the Little Mermaid levels, but we try to remember you in our hearts because yes. you know what. Your fa- our fans, you, your light. Where yes, where there is darkness in our hearts, there you are. Wait, the the light. The light. Oh, I see. So we're we're the sh- are we the we're heartless the, we're to their the, we're nobodies? The, we're the dark shadows. Wait, the dark shadows that are heartless oh, slash God. nobodies or whatever, oh, and it, they're whole people. I I, I don't enjoyed the video. Know. Please hit the subscribe button. We also Kingdom have- Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's we're we're video one comes out in like a, a few days or something. We're playing it real soon. Go ahead, Mel. <laughs> you're gonna die. We also have a Patreon. It's in the end card in the video description. And we just updated it with a lot of new and exciting things. So if you haven't been there ever, check it out. Or if you haven't looked at it in a while, maybe think about visiting it again. Such fun things include you can uh, be drawn as a controller if you are extraordinarily generous. Uh, another thing, if you pledge three dollars a month, you can download the wall all of our uh, title cards as wallpapers or to use to rub about your armpits uh, or you could some, like some you sort could of wipe your shit some sort of convoluted form of blackmail against us absolutely it's all sorts of things you could do with those paper cards. just like use it to wallpaper your ceiling like yourself yourself <laughs> yes go as press a to gay for halloween this year wait, I, I can't believe i why did I, this is a bad idea all right bye everybody <laughs> bye